In this video, <clears throat> I'm going to graph a simple uh, conic equation. So now this question has been taken from an exam paper of uh, NCA in New Zealand. This was asked in 2005 and the topic of the standard was a conic section to be in short. Okay, so conic section 2005. So what does the equation tell me? The equation is sketch the graph of x minus 3 squared over 9 plus y minus 4 y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So if you look in your formula sheet, you will find this formula, sorry, this equation matches with this uh, formula. So I've copied and pasted. So this is the formula of an ellipse. Now here, this is a specific. This is a specific case. Don't look at this. So this is you're looking at this. So this matches with this. For this, the center is zero zero. So it is centered at zero zero. I would like you to watch uh, one of my previous videos on graphing ellipse. It's very similar to that. So here the center is zero zero. So if you compare this with this, the center of the ellipse here would be, if you compare, if the center is 0, 0, you have to set this equal to 0. So when you set this equal to x minus 3 as 0, your x should be 3. So your center is 3. And when you set this equal to 0, that will be 0. So your center is 0, 0. Okay. Now this is called... Uh, the major radius. So your a you can compare with 3 because a squared is 9 which implies a is equal to 3. And you can you can compare your b squared with 4. So can I say b squared is equal to 4 which implies your b is equal to now, you should be knowing that C is called the focal length. Okay, now, this formula, if you want to remember, if you write, if you want to make C the subject, so I can write C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. Now, here, in this case, it is A is greater than B. You can also have B is greater than A, then C squared would become b squared minus a squared. Okay, in that case, b is greater than a. Now here, which is the situation? Which is greater? So this is what is a is greater than b. So this is what we are going to write. Which is c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Where c is the focal length. Okay, I'll, when I graph it, I'll explain again what is focal length. So, C squared is equal to 9 minus 4. Okay, I put A squared as 9 and B squared as 4. So, let me scroll down. So, my C is square root of 5. Okay, and square root of 5, let us use my calculator. So, menu, run shift square root of 5 equal uh, 2.2 .2 in 1 dp. Okay, so this is 2.2. .2. Okay, one more thing about focal, or oh, sorry, focus. The focus is always on the major axis. So let us grab this. So we know our center is 3, 0. So I've got uh, the graph paper. So what is the center? The center is 3, 0. So this is your center. Okay. Now, for focus, okay, now let me draw. What are the major, what's the major radius? So your major radius is, this is your major radius. Major radius is 3. So you have to go 3 to the right and 3 to the left. So you go 1, 2, 3. So this is one vertex. And this is the other way. If you go 3 to the left, that's here. 
and from the center the minor radius is 2 the minor radius is 2 so from the center you have to go 2 up and from center you have to go 2 down so these are called the vertices you've got four vertices this is the center oops this is wrong this should be didn't look right so you have to go 2 down so this is your fourth vertex so these are the these are called the vertices okay so let me graph it so i'll use uh, let me try i may not be successful but i'll try uh, so let me graph and see okay i'll try i'll highlight this okay and try to make it bigger and try to fit in Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll not worry about this. I'll use simple pen tool. Okay, I'll use a pen tool. That's much easier. So, I'm going to join these points. Okay, so that is an ellipse. And this is good enough. So this is my ellipse, so this is the ellipse that they're looking for. Okay, this is not perfect, that's fine. So now we want to plot the, the foci. So you have to go 2.2 to the right and 2.2 to the left from the center on the major axis. So let me write, this is called, okay, let me draw. The, this is called, this is called the major so this is the minor radii, sorry, my, minor axis, and this is your major axis. Okay, so let me write this. So this is your minor, minor axis. And the bigger axis is called the major axis. Okay. Now the focus is always on the major axis, okay? So mo focus is 2.2, means you have to go 2.2 to the right. So you got one, two, so this is 2.2 roughly there. This is your say F1, this is your first focus, and you have to go 2.2 to the left, okay? So this is your F2, okay? So you can say F1, is this is 3 and you go 2.2 to the right which will give you 2 plus 2.2 which is 4.2 comma 0 and f2 you have to go 2 point uh, say this is 2.2 to the left so that is 3 minus 2.2 so let me check that is menu 3 minus 2.2 is 0 0.8 yeah that's fine so this is your second focus is 0 0.8 comma 0 now we're going to confirm this on the calculator that's the most exciting part where you do something and you can always check it on a calculator so okay so let me go to my graph menu and I'm going to conic section so scroll down to your conic section so <coughs> okay so sorry so this is not what I want I want the ellipse so this is circle this is again circle this is ellipse okay so what was my equation okay so this is a b h and k so to execute so what is my H? Sorry, what is my A? A is the A is three. So I'll enter three there. What is B? B is two. Okay. What is my H? H is uh, three. Okay. And your K is zero. And then draw it. Here we go. Perfect. You can match this with this. So let me go G sol. let us find start with the center so the center is the most 
so negative sorry three zero three zero is the center again g sol let us find the focus focus is uh, oh i made a mistake so that's second that's always good to check i didn't add so this is three plus 2.2 should be 5.2 that's fine so can you see that that's my mistake i'll correct that the floating was right but i didn't add it properly that's the good thing about graphic calculator gsol and uh, uh sorry focus where is my focus yeah focus i'll scroll this that is 0 0.76 that is 0 0.8 that's fine then gsol i want to find the vertices okay the four vertices so we start from six zero that's fine this is your six zero then enter that is three three two okay and again enter okay okay zero zero is this vertex and finally three negative two okay and uh, do we have an x-intercept x-intercept is uh, your word your origin so if you press x intercept that is zero zero all done uh, keep working see you in the next video